enough power to shoot debris from the Earth's surface into space, we'd all be dead. Most likely. Start off by giving our praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakadesh. You know, um, um, the Lord is really, really revealing things in these times and things are picking up and moving. All right, this is uh, Matthew chapter 16, verse 13. When Yahweh came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some say Elijah, other Jeremiah's. Or none or one of the prophets. He said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Amashiach, the son of the living Yahweh. Alright. So that's who um, Peter answered. And Yahweh shall say, And Yahweh shall answer and said unto him, This are thy Simon Bar. By Jonah, for flesh and blood have not revealed it unto thee, but my Father, which is in heaven. All right, so some things are just shown to us through the Spirit. All right, all right, you no know, flesh and blood don't tell, it's just shown through the Spirit. All right, and I remember when I first came into the truth, I did a video of um, Yellowstone Park burn like a oven. I can still up on my first page, it'll be near the beginning. And it's when the law was first trying to show me about, you know, the um, the volcanoes in the scriptures. But I couldn't um, break it down at that point, you know, out the correctly because I was coming into the truth. And I remember hearing somebody say one time, you know, um, volcanoes, where is this in the scriptures? You know, and I was um, um, could feel that it should be there, but I couldn't really, you know, answer. And then, a uh, few weeks back, you know, I was reading through the scriptures and going through, and all of a sudden the, the word brimstone just popped out at me, all right? And that's when I realized anywhere you were seeing brimstone in the scriptures, you know, it was talking about the volcanoes. I looked up the word and research and find out from the only place that brimstone was known to come from is from the core of the earth. Right? That's where all the uh, brimstone, which is burning rocks and so right? So uh, I looked that up and uh, realized that uh, that was the first major clue. And then now, you know, I realized that, you know, it ain't like, two or three wizards, the um, day of the Lord is the volcano erupting. I mean, it's been revealed now through the Spirit. That is the day of the Lord. Now, that's not taking away from the nuclear war, because it is going to be a nuclear war, and, you know, it's going to make America, you know, as it say in Revelation, you know, there's a nigga that burn it with fire. So, the nuclear war is going to take place. You know, the Boa Steel and Joe coming out of it, that is going to happen. But the day of the Lord is this volcano erupt. You know, it's things like um, we had never heard of, like, space eruptions. And uh, I just did a video I'm putting up. It's about a hyper eruption, which is what I believe, the, um, well, it's pretty much, when you read the scriptures, what it is talking about. Um, these scriptures that we can't understand further and break down all the way, and we trying to make the missiles fit, it's because it's talking about a volcanic hyper eruption, which is also known as a space eruption, which happens in outer space. And it got me that the Edomites have always known about these things. It's just these things are new to us. We had never heard of them. All right? And um, so um, I got the, like I said, the first video, I did a while back, which I really couldn't break it down yet. But, you know, the Lord just put it on my spirit was Yellowstone Park burning like a hood. All right. And that was like when I was first coming into the truth. 
and then I did another video when I could break it down with scriptures. And uh, I know brothers know it's probably hard for them to see that, you know, because, you know, when you get a new concept, it's hard for people to accept it, even though no matter how much evidence it is, it points to this. And, you know, that's when the Lord put it on my spirit to look up brimstone. And now, you know, as I come through and read through most scriptures, even more and more scriptures are uh, uh, coming out and supporting this, you know, uh, the start is uh, Revelation 9 and Revelation 16. Um, I was um, watching a video that uh, Apostle Tahar did, which was a great video, great breakdown video, when he got uh, tripped up on that last verse when breaking down Revelation 16. And then immediately after that, the Lord revealed to me a video in my feed and popped up immediately after I watched this video, a hyper rush. Because until that point, I had never even heard of a hyper rush. So, you know, that was just the spirit. You know, that was just the Lord revealing these things to us in these last days. All right. So it would let me know that Revelation 16 the, you know, the end, the last few verses wasn't talking about the nukes. It was talking about the hyper eruption. All right? So these things are all throughout the scriptures. All right? You know, and that's why this book is so amazing. You know, it, it hides and reveals stuff, and, you know, when the uh, Spirit or when the Lord wants us to come out. All right? And um, I just, like, um, check out them three videos, um, like I said, that one, the one I did, um, the Lake of Fire is already here. And then um, I ain't tired of the next one, the hyper eruption, you know, uh, space eruption. Um, the videos, you know, are pretty much pointed out. And I believe, you know, through time, you know, uh, more and more brothers will begin to see this in the scriptures because... The Lord is, you know, is revealing it to us. You know, it's becoming more plain. So, yeah, it will be a nuclear war. There definitely will be a nuclear war. The scriptures is uh, on point with it. But the day of the Lord is is the volcano erupting. All right? And with that, I'm going to say, shallow one. If a volcano has power to shoot debris from the Earth's surface into space... We'd all be dead, most likely.